guys for tuning in today. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm doing a Susie Eats the World and I am so excited to try this out. I am trying out these Beastly Pizza. Yeah. Um, these are a flavored wheat snack. Now, I picked these up again at Myers. I was grocery shopping with my husband the other day at Myers. Um, we went and we were just picking up some groceries and I thought, what better opportunity than to pick up something for Susie Eats the World. So he was with me and we went over to the foreign foods aisle and I really couldn't find a lot of things that I really wanted to try. Some things I've already tried. They had a lot of like European foods that I've already tried and wasn't anything really different and I didn't really want to give a um, you know Susie Eats the World review on something that I've already had like several times because I feel like I wouldn't be giving you guys my like genuine reaction to the item. So we kind of went over to the kosher section where I found these and these are an Israeli snack apparently because they were with all the other Israeli items and it does say on the package, um, at least I found it earlier, yes, Osem Food Industries in um, Shoham, Israel. I hope I pronounced that right. So that is where these come from. Now, I've never tried any kind of Israeli food before. I've never had anything similar to that. Um, so this is totally new to me, and I am not quite sure... <laughs> Um, how I'm going to react to these, but they sounded really interesting, and since my husband loves pizza, we thought, why not try these out since these are pizza flavored. So these are by the Awesome brand, and I'm not really sure, I guess that maybe the line of the snacks is Beastly or Bisley. not really sure. It's got this interesting little picture of some guys, or boys, men, I don't know some kind of men, boys, man-childs on the um, packaging. And, of course, um, again, I'm starting to notice a kind of a trend um, as far as the nutrition facts go on European and other um, countries' products. Is it always has energy, and I'm not quite sure what that means. Is that like fat or calories? I'm not sure. So if you guys know, um, please share with me because I would love to know what that means. Um, it just has energy, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. So kind of interesting. Um, and they measure in kcal. I don't know. Um, here in the U.S. we usually have, it says calories, calories from fat, you know, total fat, saturated fat. Um, as far as these nutrition facts go, Kind of interesting. Oh, well, on the other side, we do have the nutrition facts for the U.S., which I think every product sold in the U.S. is required to have this nutrition facts label. So it does have the calories, which is 170, but I'm just kind of confused about reading these um, foreign nutrition facts labels. So these are kosher with no preservatives, no food coloring, suitable for vegetarians, and um, I'm assuming that uh, people in Israel usually eat only kosher foods. I, I don't know about that, but um, yes, they were in the kosher section, which is really nice. And uh, I guess kosher is very good. So I'm excited to try these out. And they do have a little bit of like a, uh, I'm not sure what language that's written in. Um, but so don't, you know, hate on me because I just don't know. Um, so anyway, let's open these up and try them out. So upon opening them up, it's just like some little um, squares in there. And they smell pretty good. They kind of smell like Pringles chips here in the U.S. So they're just these little cubes with holes in them. And like I said, they smell like... They smell like the pizza flavored um, Pringles that we have here in the U.S., which is just like a potato chip type of um, chip. And these are made of flavored wheat. So I guess it's going to be a different taste, but let's try it out. Very crunchy. Mm. Pretty 
pretty good. Um, they're they're pretty good. I I kind of like them. I don't taste a lot of the pizza flavor. Very slight. If anything, I taste like a pizza crust flavor and maybe like the tomato sauce flavor. But I don't taste any of like a cheesy flavor or like a vegetable -y flavor on a pizza. Mostly just the crust and the um, pizza sauce. But they are pretty tasty. Um, I believe the Pringles that we have here in the U.S. do have a little bit more of a pizza flavor. I think they probably add a lot more uh, flavorings and probably add a lot more uh, things that are not good for you on the Pringles. So these probably are much uh, healthier for you. But they still have a very similar pizza taste. Hmm. Pretty good. I actually really do like these. I'm probably going to eat this whole bag. Um, but yeah, they're not very greasy like some potato chips are. So these must be, could be baked. Um, they might be fried. But these are fried in sunflower oil and palm oil. It's probably much healthier for you than peanut oil or corn oil that we usually fry potato chips and things in here in the U.S. So this is probably much healthier for you. Um, as far as the ingredients, uh, just wheat flour, palm oil, sunflower oil, salt, yeast, um, spices, flavor enhancer, dehydrated onion, and garlic. So pretty small, pretty small little listing of ingredients. Not a whole lot of ingredients, which is very nice because I guarantee that if I picked up an American bag of chips, the list of ingredients would be <laughs> this long. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love um, chips of all kind, but these are just, taste so much healthier and they, it's really nice that they're kosher and that they don't have quite so many ingredients in them. It's just, you know, a simple recipe. I really like that. These are really good. They also have a peanut flavor and a barbecue flavor, I believe, but I really want to try these pizza, and they're definitely pretty good. I really like these. Pretty tasty. I think I'm going to like a lot of other kosher foods. Probably should start eating more of them. They're probably good for you, or better for you. And at 170 calories, really not that much, because most of the um, snacks in the U.S. that, you know, I usually like to eat have more calories than that and and that's probably simply just from the um, additives that they add onto the chips and snacks so this one is much better it's really good I really recommend you guys try these out I absolutely love them I'm sure Muff and my dog will like them too but I'm gonna be stingy and I'm gonna eat them so yeah Chase Susie's the world is a pass and a a winner. I'm gonna give these a four out of five because I think they could be better with a little bit more pizza flavoring, but I really like that they're simple, they're a simple snack, they don't have a lot of additives in here, no food colorings, none of that stuff. They're really tasty and they're kosher and good and just really don't have any complaints about these. Um, I picked these up at Myers, and the price I believe was like a dollar forty something, so not too expensive. Um, it's not a very big bag; it's two point five ounces, but it's really pretty good. And there's quite a good little amount of those little chips or snacks in there, so I really recommend these. You guys should try them out. Uh, I really like this product, the Bisley, Beastly, Bisley pizza flavored snacks from Awesome Foods. Really like that. So be sure to check these out in your local grocery if you see them. And uh, I really do like these. So hope you guys enjoyed today's Suzy Eats the World. Do you have a product you want me to try out? Let me know and I will try it out in my next video. Catch you guys later. Bye.